We're here with Dr. Jeff Lake. He's a board certified surgeon and colorectal surgeon at Providence Tarzana Medical Center. Dr. Lake, we have some questions about colorectal health. Um, when should somebody get their first colonoscopy? Well, uh, men and women all need to get their first colonoscopy at the age of 50. Uh, the average risk individual who just needs their own checkup gets their colonoscopy at 50. Well, what if one of my parents has had colorectal cancer? Does that change when I should get my first colonoscopy? It does. For individuals that have parents or siblings that have had colorectal cancer, they need their first colonoscopy actually at the age of 40 or 10 years earlier than their relative's diagnosis. So say you had uh, a parent who had colon cancer at age of 45, actually their children and siblings should get a colonoscopy at 35. But basically with a family history of colon or rectal cancer, they actually get their colonoscopy at 40 rather than 50. So what if I'm 70 and I feel great, I'm in super good health, not having any symptoms, do I even need to get one at that age? It's a great question. A lot of people who get beyond the age of 65 or 70 are feeling fine and no family history of colon or rectal cancer ask, do I need a colonoscopy? Actually, they do. Uh, the rates of colon and rectal cancer go up with age. So someone who's, say, 70 actually has a significantly higher risk of colon or rectal cancer compared to, a, say, a 60-year-old or a 50-year-old. So it is important that they get their colonoscopies as well, even without symptoms. And then what if when I have a bowel movement and there's blood, I heard that bright red blood is nothing to be concerned about. Is that true? I personally believe, and I think it's the truth, that any bleeding uh, is not normal. Now a lot of people, even physicians, will tell their patients that if it's bright red, you don't have to worry. Uh, this comes from the fact that when it is bright red, it tends to be coming from the tail end of things, um, near the, the bottom of the rectum or even, uh, even lower. Um, the point of the matter is bright red bleeding is yes, usually benign. But I can tell you every patient I've ever had that had rectal cancer did have bright red bleeding. So the fact it's bright red really isn't a, uh, a sign you can feel comfortable with. Um, any bleeding at all uh, should be investigated by their physician. And when I'm having my colonoscopy, if the doctor says, oh, we found a polyp, but we're going to take it out, does that mean I'm guaranteed to have colon cancer at some point in my life? Certainly not. Um, while it is true that colon and rectal cancers do grow from polyps, when benign polyps are removed, it doesn't mean you're definitely going to have cancer. Um, a recent study uh, that was released back in November, a Medicare study, looked at individuals over the age of 65. Uh, they found that patients who got their colonoscopy when they had no symptoms actually had lower rates of cancer than those that didn't get their colonoscopy when they should have. And I think the reason is because those polyps were removed. We caught patients with no symptoms that had polyps, and by removing those polyps, they actually had lower rates of cancer than those individuals who never got the colonoscopy they should have had. And if you find cancer, uh, it's, it's early, it's pretty curable, right? It certainly is. It's one of the more curable cancers. Um, the good news is with getting proper screening with colonoscopy, uh, when we do find cancers, when we find them earlier, it is quite often curable. Great. Thank you, Dr. Lake. We really appreciate you spending this time with us today. You're very welcome. Thank you so much.